guys, this is your Philly Neighborhood Yawning Cat, and we are back with the Pets LP on this channel. This is episode 11, and this is going to be the Christmas special. Now, I am recording this. I'm actually recording the voiceover for this because I used a different audio uh, recording system for recording this episode, and it actually effed up my uh, my voice it basically sounds really robotic and electronic and that just that just kind of sucks so i am recording the voiceover for this at 9 28 p.m this episode is around like 20 something minutes so it's going to take me it's going to be about 10 when i'm done recording this i'm probably probably i'm going to upload this tomorrow but i'm probably going to upload this during daytime so it won't be too late in the evening and it will be at a normal time I'm not gonna upload this like at 12 you know a.m tonight because I do want to go to sleep I do want to rest up and I do want to do some other stuff during this evening it is Christmas after all it's the second day of Christmas and uh we are back with these two beautiful you know um people now I do want to mention that I have pre-recorded a lot of stuff and it does kind of it does kind of it's a good thing to pre-record a lot of episodes because you've you're prepared and you've got stuff already made to just post for you know your viewers to see but the other thing is you know Christmas comes along there's a bunch of stuff that you have to do like me and my husband we redecorated we painted walls uh, we basically fixed the walls in our living room in the apartment that we are renting and um, renting or yeah we are paying rent so we are renting right um, so basically we had a lot of stuff and a lot of Christmas shopping well it's not a lot of Christmas shopping but it's rather shopping for specific things and you know our friends were here a lot like we meet up with our friends like twice a week now and it's really super fun but it also takes time away from doing stuff that's Sims 4 related so basically it's been a little while but we are back here and we are going to be recording this cute little episode of the Christmas Christmas episode between Marcus and Lisa. Now Marcus has come back to Brindleton Bay for today. But just the day. Like he is here for the daytime. During the nighttime he will be leaving to Oasis Springs again. And he is going to be rejoining his you know, military service. Oh, he's being so cute with Lisa. Um, but yeah, he was given a very big privilege, I might even say. Um, he has been given the privilege to to come and spend time with his wife during Christmas, which a lot of other sergeants have not received. And Mimi has peed on the floor and she needs to be lectured about indoor potty. And that is what Lisa is going to do, at least try to do. And of course, the game is going to cancel a bunch of my actions. Another thing that I would like to add um, to what's going on right now in my game is I have finally figured out how to make the snow mod work now if you know what the snow mod is it is the amazing the wonderful sim cookies uh handmade handcrafted mod that allows you to have snow textures in the game now the issue with the snow mod is that it um it kind of it kind of glitches out. Now, if you've got MC Command Center, you will know that when you have old CC, MC Command Center gives you this um, error log and it tells you that it has found old CC content in, uh, you know, the Sims 4 mods folder and that you need to check that shit out. And once I downloaded the snow mod I noticed that it threw me in an error log and it made my game reset every like 10 or 15 seconds just warning me that there's something wrong with 
the piece of CC that I have in my game. So what I finally mustered up to do is I deleted all the 2015 files within the snow mod folder. And it turns out that all the textures that you need for the other worlds to also be covered in snow are already in the two 2017 files. Um, so the new updated ones, which also include the Brindleton Bay world, which is also edited. So if you, if you feel like you download the snow mod and you're struggling and something's not working right, I tried this method where I just deleted a two th all the files, all the files in the game that were 2015 made and I just deleted them. So you can try that too. And Marcus is making some apple pie and he just looks so cute while making it. I'm probably, I'm probably, I don't know, I might use uh, the screenshot that I will be taking later on or the screenshot of him making apple pie as the thumbnail because it just looks super, super cute. Also, my husband makes my thumbnail, so that is pretty awesome of him uh, because I cannot work Photoshop or, or anything that involves applying anything more than a filter. I can't, I can't handle technology like that. <laughs> anyway, um, since Marcus did want to buy a little pet ball for his pets, we are going to buy two uh, pet balls for the pets as gifts for them. So, uh, you know, me and my husband, we didn't sort of buy a special gift for our cat, but we did give her lots of treats, you know, during Christmas. Because I feel like Christmas isn't about gifts in a lot of ways. It's not about gifts. It's about what you, how you choose to spend Christmas and who you spend it with. Um, but I feel like, you know, those little things, just, just the little things are truly a lot in the time of Christmas, you know, just receiving a very tiny token of somebody's affection is really, really awesome. And I'm scaling down these presents because they were too huge before. Um, so yeah, we've got a Christmas tree put up. We could buy the Cat Dazzler for Dixie, but I know that Lisa already has bought one Cat Dazzler. So we're not going to have her have to because, um, Marcus does not play around with cats, with cat dazzlers. He just pets them and hugs them uh, to the best of his efforts. After all, he spends most time roughhousing with Bullseye. And uh, Marcus has brought in a lot of money into the household. I don't know if you've noticed. Also, I'm spinning around the camera because I was surprised by how little lag there is in the game at this point. Uh, which is surprising because I'm using a bunch of global snow uh, textures, right? So it should be lagging, but it's not. not at least not as much as I would think it would be. Um, so yeah, so Marcus is actually setting up, let's just pretend that this is Marcus and not me, uh, setting up the, you know, um, additional equipment that he has bought for Lisa so that she could, first of all, practice her veterinarian skills while she is at home. And second of all, so she could take care of her own pets at her own, you know, little private house clinic instead of having to drive all the way to a different clinic because um, she can't possibly use the fruit, you know, her own clinic that she runs as a business with Sebastian. She can't really just, you know, use the funds for her own benefit. And she knows she'd rather just take care of her pets right here, you know, right now, not have to give them any additional stress of traveling and stuff. So basically, she's going to have her own little private vet um, spot in the house. And the apple pie is baked and it looks really, really yummy. And we are going to be doing a little uh, Christmas dinner, you could call it, at the end of this episode. But, you know, since this is, uh, since this would end in like around 15 minutes, if it were just about them having some apple pie and some camper stew, um, we are going to do a couple of more things. So, uh, you know, we are playing around with pets, but after all, we are here to have some quality time between Lisa and Marcus because they haven't seen each other for several weeks now. It's been several weeks since Marcus has left and they are seeing each other only for one day. So they have to spend this time as 
as well as possible. And I'm looking at the backyard and I'm like thinking like, oh yeah, I'm going to put a table down there and we're going to have Christmas um, dinner there. Because I feel like it's really, really cute to have your Christmas dinner in the backyard amongst the freshly, you know, um, fallen snow. I don't know. It's really cute. We have no snow whatsoever here. Uh, at least in the place where I live in Lithuania, we have no snow. We've got rain. We had rain on Christmas Eve and on the first day of Christmas. And only today we've got like damp weather, but we've got no snow, no snow, no ice, no frost, no nothing, nada. So, uh, we are putting down a popcorn maker for... Mr. Chef Marcus to make some buttered popcorn. At first I was like, I'm going to make some cheddar popcorn. But then I was like, mm, nah, you know, it's, it's, it's Christmas. It's snowy outside. It's warm inside. They're going to enjoy some moving watching together. And I was like, you know what they should do? They should make some buttered popcorn. And Lisa is going to pay the bills. And then they're going to sit on their pretty little couch. Uh, and they're going to watch a movie together. Because I feel like it's a nice you know, Christmas tradition to spend the first half of the day with your closest closest like nuclear family like the family of the you're constantly surrounded by so in this case it's lisa and marcus and of course you know their multitude of pets um and then also having um some at, at the other half of the day to have some friends or family over and spending time with them so that's what I did with my husband. Uh, I kind of like that I'm doing the voiceover on top of the video because now I can tell you a little bit more about myself and I don't have to think about the game uh, with like 80% of my brain. <laughs> um, so me and my husband, we actually did the same thing. We had some um, homemade um, American style pancakes, which I, by the way, showcased on my Instagram uh, the first time that I tried making them. On Christmas Eve breakfast, I did make them with chocolate chips in addition. And we didn't use maple syrup, we used agave syrup because it has less sugar and it's actually healthier for you. I think I think it's better for you. I don't know. I'm not a dietitian and I don't really care, but I, I, I was just like, you know what? It's cheaper and it's supposed to be healthier. So um, cheaper and healthier? Hell yeah, because that those two usually don't mix. Um, so yeah. Lisa's just popping that popcorn. Uh, so me and my husband, we did have some, you know, Christmas breakfast. We had blueberry chocolate chip pancakes with agave syrup. We got some, you know, um, gourmet coffee. We watched some Naruto anime. And then we got ready and our friends came over at around 1 p.m. And we just, we were together. We had like a bunch of, we had like a buffet where everybody brings in some food. And then we had like this buffet on a table and we had fruit and cookies and candy and stuff like that. We didn't have like um, meals, but we did have just, you know, food that, and we didn't even finish it. We still got cookies and fruit after Christmas Eve. So we spent time with our friends. We played Dungeons and Dragons. It was super awesome. And uh, I would do want Lisa to light the fire, uh, but she's just going to do it before they leave for a date, which is also a thing that I do want them to go on. I do want these two to go on a date because I feel like they need to, you know, like, they are husband and wife. They are seeing each other for one day. They do need to hang out and they need to spend some quality time together. So Marcus is you know, going to compliment her appearance. He's going to blow her a little kiss. He's just going to be a super romantic husband and he's going to flirt it up with his wife because after all, he hasn't seen her in a long time and he needs to butter her up. Um, no pun intended on the butter popcorn. Um, so yeah. <coughs> they are going to interact and afterwards we're gonna go on a date i'm feeling san my shoe now, and i'm saying i'm feeling but i already know because i filmed the episode we are going to be going to san my shoe now, and we are going to hit some uh, food carts and uh in the recording i raved about how much i love i love i love food carts now if you if you would ask me 
Cat, what is your favorite expansion pack? And I will be doing a, a Q&A, which uh, is another thing that I should probably talk about in this episode because I kind of want to. Um, so if you were to ask me, Cat, what is your favorite expansion pack? I would have to say hands down City Living. Pets, uh, I mean cats and dogs, cool, cool shiz. I was expecting more. I got less than I thought I would. So I was kind of disappointed. Not not a lot disappointed, but disappointed nonetheless. I felt like pets could have been very different. They could have been, um, they could have offered more. They could have offered competitions for, you know, pets. They could have offered more clothes for the pets. Uh, I just feel like the game could have, the expansion pack could have been much, much bigger than it actually was. Um, so City Living for me, probably my favorite expansion pack. If I had to tell you, you know, get this expansion pack, I would say get City Living because it is a bomb.com. Um, and so another thing before we go to to the date in San Maishuno is... Um, my goal for next year is to reach 100 subscribers and the second we get this channel to 100 subscribers we are going to uh we are going to have a Q&A on this channel and Bullseye got us a broken uh piece of crap so that is just great um so yeah so 100 subscribers uh, is going to be my goal for next year. And once we get there, we're going to have a Q&A with a webcam. And you're going to get to see me and uh, get to know me a little bit better. So we are going to go on a date in a little jiffy. And here I am just fidgeting around with the camera, trying to get that perfect screenshot that I'm like, oh, what captures Christmas better than Marcus in a Christmas sweater? with Santa and a Christmas tree and a crab with a, with a alcohol bottle. I'm pretty sure that's an alcohol bottle and a crab's hand. We you know, um, crabs, crabs are alcoholics, uh, I guess. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I don't know what that poster is about, but I love it. And I wanted it to be on their wall. So they're going to go on a date and we will see each other there. And we are here in the San Maishuno Meadows and I love the fact that the snow mod is working here. Now, the frost on the poles up close looks a little bit weird, but from afar, it really, really works. And I just love seeing the snow mod everywhere in San Maishuno. I don't know. Um, Once again, city living uh food food carts i feel like food carts are probably the best thing that the sims team has come up with in the sims 4 why you may ask well first of all not a lot of people go to restaurants and restaurants are a sort of commitment like you know you have to go there you, you got to make a reservation you got to make sure there's a table waiting for you you know, there's a lot of stuff that goes into going into a restaurant it usually entails you dress up even if it means that you have to dress up in your casual wear, you know. And a food stall, a food stall is you run out of your apartment wearing PJs and Uggs. You go to the food stall, you order a freaking faux takeout, and you order some egg rolls, and you're like, Bish, hit me up with those egg rolls right now. You go back upstairs to your apartment, you cozy up on your couch, put a little blanket on top, your, hus your husband makes you, you know, a cup of tea, you eat your egg rolls, you eat your pho, you, eat, you, you drink your tea, and you watch some TV with him, you know? That's, that's life, you know? That's actual city life. Like, you can go outside, order up some food, bring it back in, cuddle up on the couch, and eat it, which is such a realistic part of how we eat now, as opposed to even like, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago, it used to be like frowned upon to, you know, eat you know, like, I don't know, 15 years ago, probably not so much like 20, 25 years ago, it would probably be like normal people eat in restaurants and cafes. And now it's like normal people are efficient. Normal people just get food and they eat it at home in their own, you know, comfort of their own home. So anyway, um, yeah, fish city living i'm just raging about it and also because i haven't played or recorded for quite some time i've been editing like a bish but i haven't been recording or editing uh i mean uh, recording or playing the sims 4 
once I recorded this episode, I was just like, oh my God, it feels so good to play again. <laughs> um, I'm just taking screenshots of these two lovebirds together because, I mean, everything just looks so perfect. I mean, the poles, the poles with the snow mod do look like a little bit, you know, RPG style um, stuff, but from afar you can't really tell also this guy looks like santa at least i thought he would so i am assuming he's going to give us a discount and uh hindsight bias i already know he's going to give us a discount at least lisa because i think marcus is not going to be able to order food um yeah so what else would i like to mention about stuff well, um, I do have a challenge coming up. I did make up a challenge. I did create a challenge. I think I mentioned it in another video at some point a couple of weeks ago. I did mention that I am coming up with the challenge. I have been developing one. Um, and it is in the final stages of being developed. I have already made a sim that I will be playing with. Uh, I will be playing through the challenge with that particular sim. Am I, am I hoping somebody else is going to notice that challenge is going to do the, to do it as well? Hell yes. Am I probably going to spam a couple of simmers on this, uh, on, uh, YouTube in their comments and ask them to check the challenge out? Probably. But what I really want to uh, to do the most is to share the challenge with you um, at some point probably after New Year's probably uh, but basically next early next year the challenge is going to be coming out uh, the cast video is going to be come out the me talking about the rules and the rules on my you know wiki wiki <laughs> uh, Wix site is also going to come out and uh, you are going to get to see the challenge and I will want you to play through it and give me feedback and talk to me about how you feel about the challenge okay and also this moment right here these two have decided to have woohoo okay remember how I made them have woohoo in the lighthouse and I was like I am making every single LP that I have have woohoo in the lighthouse because it's a new location and these two are like Remember that time in the lighthouse, bitch? There's a there's an observatory here. We haven't ever done it there. Let's just go. <laughs> Let's go in. And uh, I mean, I'm treating this as young love. You know, these these two, these two just want to enjoy some uh, quality time together. So we're gonna we're gonna give them some privacy. We're just gonna go back to the food stalls, and um, we're probably gonna order something for Marcus from this food stall we're probably gonna get some I think I'm gonna give him bonk me and also I don't know if I say it right so if I pronounce a word wrong and you're like oh my god you ignorant you know person how do you not know how to say things please tell me down in the comment section I will read it I will learn and I will improve with the help of you my my beautiful wonderful viewers and also um I don't know I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about the channel I know that this is a very chatty voiceover for this episode I know it's it's not talking a lot about the episode but the episode is pretty chill I mean we are going on a date we are we are getting together with these um characters but you know, there's not, there's not a lot to say about the episode itself. It does play through rather easily, and I do make some comments about it. But you know, I miss you guys. I want to talk to you guys. I want to, I want to tell you about what has been going on with me. Um, but speaking of this LP, Lisa, also, uh, the water in this fountain looks like crap, and I know that I have like textures and stuff on high. So the shittiness of this water is perplexing to me. Um, but basically, Lisa does have a little secret that she wants to share with Marcus. And I'm pretty sure she hasn't shared it just yet. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see in a little while. But it does have to do with the topic of them having children. Um oh, it might have happened already, actually. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it hasn't. I don't know. We'll 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 just have to see. But she does want to reveal a deep secret and I'm 
I'm feeling like she's going to do it in a minute. Uh, she's, she's going to give him a heartful compliment. She's feeling, you know, embarrassed about chopstick use. Uh, she's, she's feeling a little bit, uh, she's feeling, she's feeling the heartburn from the spicy food and she's going to reveal the deep secret and she's going to reveal a secret that she is being using uh you know the hormones that her doctor prescribed her and that in a couple of months there is a chance that they are going to be able to start planning you know their um the coming of their child and stuff and uh, marcus is just jumping in with that passionate kiss in there because he's just like oh my goodness i'm so excited about this news and he is he definitely is because he has you know said it time and time again i want a family with you and you know whether you can or cannot provide it you know there are other ways to do you know that sort of thing and now lisa is giving him the best news that he could have hoped for is that after the hormone treatment and her operation, of course, she's going to be able to have children. And um, it's just it's just so exciting, isn't it? Like, because she's going to be, you no. Know, oh my God, the stutter on their hands, the stutter on those hands. I mean, they're excited. They're probably just excited uh, about, about the news. Um, so I feel like it's definitely something that both of them are super, super excited for they do want to create a family and and she's going to be waiting for him to come back from his mission and you know start start planning their their family and stuff and it just feels so wonderful it just feels so wonderful to see them go through such a wonderful time together and i do want to get the date to a little higher level i don't want it to be disappointing um i have forgotten entirely if there's a negative moodlet that comes out if you don't, um, if you don't do well with the date, but I don't want it to go poorly. Um, so they are going to make their way waddle, waddle, waddle to a spot where they're going to have a passionate kiss. And I think after that passionate kiss, we are going to make our way home. Yeah, pretty sure we are. So we're going to make our way home for that Christmas dinner. And we are going to have some quality time celebrating Christmas. And so after they have come back from their trip to San Marcino, Marcus and Lisa invited over Lisa's moms, so Taylor Green and Jaden King. So we have our two bro girls, LP veterans, literally, here. And uh, Lisa just wanted to have her moms over to, you know, their place to meet her husband basically because they could not make it to their wedding because you know of how quickly it happened really and uh, now that they are here and now that they are in this um, you know in this in this environment now that they have seen their place they are really really happy about everything that is going on with their daughter and um, a little you know they have given Lisa a couple of gifts you know, as as moms do. Uh, so they have given Lisa, and I think I'll be showing that in just a jiffy. I don't know if I showed it. Have I? Did I? Did I show it to you? Or did I just talk while I was showing it to you? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what I did? Uh, I think... I think I already told you about it. Yeah, okay. So they have given uh, Lisa and Marcus the crib because they were like, you know, this is a crib that you used to use. And uh, they also, so that the crib wouldn't seem as a suspicious gift, they also gave Lisa and Marcus the little bootsies that Lisa used to use. And Dixie's just stretching and being all lazy and cute around the fire. And, um... We are not going to let Marcus sleep, even though their moodlets, uh, their moodlets are positive, but their uh, their needs are low. But we are still going to enjoy some camper stew. We're all going to grab a little serving. The meal has been no call to. Uh, Jaden has a sweet tooth for that apple pie. Now she knows, she knows that apple pie be good. Um, and Sebastian was invited as well because he, just like Lisa, if Lisa hadn't met. Uh, Jaden and Taylor, um, she would have been an orphan just like Sebastian and that's why they invited Sebastian because they wanted him to have somebody to spend Christmas with. Um, 
And Sebastian is a really, you know, he's becoming a closer and closer friend of Lisa. So obviously they would want him to participate. And um, yeah, they're going to enjoy some Christmas dinner. They're going to have some, you know, fun together. They're just going to chat. You know, she's going to ask about her. Lisa's going to ask about her mother's day. She's going to ask about Taylor's day. She's going to chat about, you know, the San Marchino gossip with Jaden. And the lights are on. And I know, I know, uh, Black Widow Challenge, who I've used these lights before. But they're from the toddler stuff back. And I feel like they are just really, really cool they're really good for outdoors and they are just really really um they're really really nice and i wanted to use them because they just seem you know like they can fit the any occasion a birthday a and a barbecue uh i'm just i'm just zooming out to see if there's any snow particles but there aren't any mm, sad face um and what is this lag? What is the lag in the game? Um, but I feel like these lights are really versatile, so you can use them anywhere you want. And now I'm using them for Christmas dinner in the snow. Uh, so Lisa is really enjoying the new vet room that she has. She's really, really happy about it. She's happy to know that her pets will be taken care of no matter what. And uh, she's happy to be with her family, her friends, and her husband at a time when um when you know she knows that she won't be able to see her husband for a couple of months now um so we're going to end this part here we're going to probably end on the view of marcus and lisa let's uh, let's uh, get a good shot of these two so i hope that you enjoyed this episode i hope um you don't mind the stutter I hope you've noticed that the upload quality of videos has become better. I have started to use DaVinci Resolve again, which has treated me pretty well earlier in the in the channel's days. And it is definitely doing a very good job right now. Um, so if you got any comments, if you got any suggestions about the, um, about the channel, about the LP, write them all down in the comment section down below. If you like this episode then click the like button. And if you're watching this and you're not yet subscribed, then do become a part of the fam because we have a lot of fun here together. I hope all of your guys' Christmas was awesome. You spent your Christmas Eve happy and content maybe even got some cool gifts but remember that's not what matters it matters who you spend christmas with and how you spend it so thank you guys so so much um late merry christmas to you all and i will see you soon bye